What's up guys, we're over here at XL Fitness off of 59th Avenue and Peoria. We just finished up our arm workout for today and then I wanted to do a little intro for you guys for my video of the day. It's gonna be the Catch Lift fundraiser event. Uh, I did. A, I participated in the Liftathon this past Monday where I did max reps on bench press with 315 pounds and 225 pounds. So the whole goal of this uh, fund fundraiser is for people to pledge for each rep that I complete and uh, kind of add up the no donations that way. So I had a lot of people pledge and donate and I really appreciate it. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who pledged and donated. And uh, so the goal of today was to hit max reps with 350 pounds first and then drop down real fast to down to 225 pounds and hit max reps there. And then the total number of reps I hit will be the amount of money donated to the Catch Lift fundraising organization. So I was able to get clips of that for you guys and then also at the end I'll just throw together the whole workout I did that day and then kind of call it at that. So hope you guys enjoy the video. So before we get started here, I wanted to touch on how I warm up specifically for my heavy lifts, uh, bench, squat, deadlift, or typically anything really. Um, so you'll see here that I have the bar and with a lighter weight, I try to treat it as if it was my top set, my heaviest set. Why? Because, well, for me, the name of the game is, is explosion, right? If I want to lift the most weight I can, I need to be explosive. And specifically, I need to target my fast twitch muscle fibers in order to maintain that explosion and, and maintain in an injury-free uh, training session in order to build up to a heavy weight. So I try to treat the lighter weights as if it was my heaviest set so that when it's time to go to the heavier weight, my muscle fibers, my fast twitch muscle fibers already warm up and, and already uh, adjusted to what they're about to do it's how I acclimate my body up to my heaviest set so we're gonna do our top set here of 315 pounds for max reps which for the day was 12 And then here I did 225 pounds for 19 reps about maybe three minutes after that 315 set. Um, this isn't a rep PR for me. It's about 10 pounds less or 10 reps less rather than uh, the most I've ever done before. But uh, at this point in the fundraiser, I just wanted to get every little last, last rep I could. Um, so you can kind of see at the end there where I tire out and I try to rest it on my chest so I can try to gain some energy to get those last reps out here. So then we're going to finish off with some slingshot work here. Um, for those of you who don't know, the slingshot is specifically meant to help overload your lockout, to help work on your lockout specifically. So with the stretch across the chest at the bottom, it's going to help get you off, get help you get the weight off your chest, but then it becomes more of a raw lift towards the top. So it's going to help you, you know, work on your lockout power, work on your tricep power. And if you're text, your are I'm sorry, your chest is already taxed, then it can allow you to put some more work in, add some volume without having to reduce the weight due to a taxed chest, to a tired um, fried chest.
quick little shout out to my workout partner here, Roy Orantia. I hope I pronounced his last name correctly. He's a senior about to graduate from Ironwood High School. Um, very happy to have him on Team House Strong. He's an outstanding lifter. He just set the Ironwood High School squat record with 585 pounds and just sleeves. So very excited to have him on the team and watch him grow as he becomes an outstanding lifter. So that's going to conclude the video for today. Uh, just a recap, I finished with 12 reps at 315 pounds, which matches my PR all time with rest of 315 pounds. I was wanting, you know, 13 or 14, but I guess it's all I could get that day. Uh, so, and then I finished off with 19 reps at 225 pounds, and you guys kind of saw in the video there where I kind of died at the end and uh, tried to force out every rep I could. So, not bad, not bad. Um, raised a lot of money with it. You know, it was a very cool experience. I wanted to thank Freeway, Ga Freeway Gang's uh, William McCoy for allowing me to participate, as well as Nikia Chavez for helping. Uh, well, A, get me into the event and also get everyone to help pledge for my reps. So that was really nice of him. I wanted to give a big shout out to him. And then lastly, I wanted to give a shout out to my photographer, Joe, which I'm going to put some of the photos he took in there. Uh, really, really nice photos. And I'm going to put his information down in the info box to where you guys can contact him if you're ever looking to take uh, photos of your training or upcoming comp competitions and stuff like that. Really great guy. Um, I suggest him. Um, and like I said, I'll put his information down below. So if you guys want to contact him, it'll be right there. Uh, you guys stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be a big, big squat day. Uh, I'm going to put, the plan is 765 pounds on my back. And we're going to go for one single with it in my new squat suit. So it's going to be pretty exciting, guys. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you guys very much. Share, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.